what's up y'all so insane dubai house tour i've been waiting on this uh ken went to dubai with um adam willow and a couple other people so we about to get into this video you dig what i'm saying let's get into it yes yeah, sir What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leaks. So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. Before we get into this video, I gotta tell you, Dubai for New Year's was the best idea anyone could have ever came up with. y'all let me grab my drink for my toddy i'm a little sick so i gotta put my toddy hmm, excuse me i'm under the weather just made me one gotta add the yak get this sickness up all right Whew, okay real rich real rich out there Everybody put their coins together like fuck that shit. <laughs> Everybody probably paid like two thousand a piece, which ain't bad. What's going on, Ken folk? You already know we back with another YouTube video, and this one here is probably gonna be. I don't even know how to explain it because it's just gonna be a little, little long because this house tour is gonna be just it's insane. If you don't already know, I came to Dubai for New Year's with a couple friends. We've been having a great time so far. Right now, I think it's it's the third, leave on the fifth. So I've already been here for a couple days. I've gotten a little footage here and there. Don't beat me up. It's just, it was my first time here. So I wasn't really sure what I was gonna be able to record because you know, I've heard it's a little, it's a little different. So yeah, I just didn't wanna pull that. a camera out everywhere I went trying to film people and, or not film people directly, but indirectly. And then it turns into something else, you know? Yeah, I think we just gonna kinda, kind of hop into it a little bit. Uh, I'm looking at the houses across the street. You're gonna see our house and it's gonna be crazy, but if you see some of the houses just like in this neighborhood in general, it's like way crazier, but. So this is the front. Okay. Not too crazy, a little crazy, but That's not too right. crazy. I'm gonna show you guys the outside first before it gets dark. It's that giving way. very much mansion for me. 
It's giving very much rich. You guys can kind of see a little bit, you know what I mean? Comes with the playground. Probably the owner of the house obviously probably has kids. Has like this nice green area, you know, with a little putt putt over there, you know, with Dubai yes. skyline in the background. Oh Pretty dope. And this is honestly like probably my favorite area. It gets the best pictures out here. Right now it's not really too hot in Dubai. It's actually rained a little bit, which is kind of surprising because apparently it doesn't really rain all that often here. So as you can see now, you can kind of see the back of the house. This is I super, how the area. super huge, it's expensive. Kind of get a view of the pool, we'll go down there. And as you can see, we have a little friendly cat. So this cat here has just like been like everywhere. Like one morning we were like sitting down, like eating breakfast. And one of the people we were with eating breakfast, it's like, hey, I think I seen a cat run by in the kitchen. We were like, what? <laughs> so we got up, went to go look, and it's just, this cat is just here. Got this little hummock, of course. A little <coughs> sitting area out there, but like I said, it's kind of covered because it did kind of rain. Now we can take you guys to the inside, which is insane. Oh, the cat came up here. You, you've you been here longer than me. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. I want no beef from you. There's like okay. many ways to get into the house or whatnot. Not in a bad way, but just... It is. Oh, this door's locked. Okay. <laughs> Scratch what I said. There's not many ways to get into the house unless you come from the inside, not the outside. So this is pretty much the front door. You know, it's got the details. Nice little foyer. The art, the art in this house is insane. You're gonna see it as throughout the tour. But yeah, it's plenty of art. Plenty. Nice little centerpiece table. Pretty dope. Now, this area of the house is just kind of, you know, it's kind of chill, relaxed. People first come over. This is May. Where about it? Yeah. Just kick it a little bit, kind of relax, wind a little, wind down a little bit. Like, Super no, amazing furniture. Two dope coffee tables. <laughs> Chandelier going crazy with the ceiling. Like I said, the art in this place is just hands down top notch. You have another sitting area which I haven't even sat in since we've been here. You know, so. But these couches are super comfortable, super dope. I actually need to find out where they got these from because these are, these, these are nice. Got a nice, I uh, guess this could either be a chess board or a checkerboard. Come on, checkerboard table type, type thing. Or obviously chess. I'm stupid. Or chess. <laughs> I'm looking at the chess thing and saying checkers. This is more like a like a formal sitting area where people, you know, it's like one of those informal business meeting areas type thing, you know? And this is more like a formal dining area. Super dope, and this is a, I've never seen two chairs at like the head of a table, so that's a, that's new to me. And they're on yeah, both sides. Yeah, we're too close. So again, a super dope chandelier, more art, going crazy. This here is insane. I've never seen anything like it. Another dope painting. You're gonna see this lot that we have here. So this is more like a uh, like a guest bathroom. So it has multiple sinks in case people have to come it's in the bathroom. The bathroom for me. Uh, Standard two toilets, not two toilets, but I'm assuming, if I remember correctly, this one here is the toilet you use. This is what you use to wash your bottom. Don't quote me, but I think that's what it is. Yeah, but Also dang. on this side, because like I said, this is more like a I guest bathroom for them to use, I'm assuming. Probably not gonna show you the bedrooms, because like I said, people are here, they're sleeping, because like I said, it's just been long, people are tired, so probably not gonna show you the bedroom. I'll show you mine really quick. I don't mind the mess, but yeah, this is my bedroom. Well, nah, I keep my, my blinds closed because the sun just comes up and sneaks up on me. And I hate it. Dope chandelier, my bathroom. Pretty relaxed, pretty chill. I don't want to wind down. I could take you into the living room. Like I said, this place is just huge. We haven't even we haven't even came close to the end of it <laughs> at all. You know, it, it wouldn't be right if it didn't have an elevator, right? It just wouldn't be. We'll get on once we go downstairs. Yes, no. So this is be the nice. main living room, I guess. It's a huge there's one upstairs ass too. couch. You know, it looks like it has like a, like a bar area. Some more dope art, some more dope art. This rug though, is huge. I don't think I've ever seen a rug this big, ever. I mean, yeah, you see the details on the ceiling. The place is it's insane. This is normally where we have breakfast and whatnot. Just kind of relax, kick it. Super, super dope kitchen. Now, this isn't even the interesting part. So obviously, this place has like what's called a butler's kitchen. Now, if you don't know what a butler's kitchen is, I guess when you have like a chef over or something like that, this is the kitchen they would use to cook the food. That way, guests are probably out there walking in and out of the kitchen trying to get water and stuff like that. So this is where they can prepare the food without any interruptions. But look at this. This butler's kitchen is huge. I don't think I've ever seen a butler's kitchen this, this big. That's like, it's big, huge. Washer and dryer. You should do a lot of walking. 
house is like a maze at the same time. You just gotta know where you're going. <sighs> you looked at my IG story, this is where I was. At like five o'clock in the morning, just still up. Get another Damn. view of the pool. People were talking about jumping golf into this end because it's deeper, but. No bad that. I, just, I can't just be in Dubai getting hurt. Okay. Right, so first we're gonna go down, and then we're gonna go up. There's not really much up besides bedrooms, but we can go up there anyway. <sighs> who, who not jumping off the balcony into the pool is me in Dubai. I mean, granted, the hospital bed won't be a hospital bed. They gonna take care of you for free. I said people are in the bedrooms. I don't know. If you traveling, they might not. Sleeping or laying down or relaxing. So I don't want to really, I don't want to interrupt, even though the bedrooms are dope. So when we first come down, you have like this foosball table. You know what I mean? This, really, you know what that is. Hmm. All right. I have no idea how to turn the lights on. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea how to turn the lights on. So I found out how to turn on some lights, like pretty much like the dance floor lights Nigga got over a whole behind dance the DJ booth, in the house. of course. But it's pretty dope because they have like these flashing lights. That one kind of sucks. That one sucks too. But this one here is pretty, pretty interesting, I guess. It turns on like those little, I don't even know what they call it, the disco ball spins. Yeah, it's just kind of a little dance floor. The fact that you can have a, a club going in the crib. Just turn that bitch into the club. They do have full, a full DJ equipment. I don't know how to work oh, any that's of this. Crazy. I won't touch it. If you were to travel with the DJ and come here and he knows how to work this, it is free to use. Um, I have no idea where this door goes. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm gonna just not touch anything that he didn't show us on the tour. Okay. Obviously down here, Got another, just like a guest, you know what I'm saying? A guest bathroom, or whatever. Except this one comes with a shower, which, you know, I'm not really sure why, but, and again, two toilets, why not? And two bottom washers, and two sinks. Does this work? I don't know if it works. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> what happened? So I've pressed every button over here, and I cannot seem to get the lights on. I have no idea why none of these work. Like, no clue. Gotta make this quick because this camera's about to die and I'm probably not gonna be able to charge it. Gotta make this flash work. But this is the theater that you can barely see. I'm trying to make this work. It's got like a projector. Control everything pretty much over here. Got the different art on the wall. Got the 007. Another 007. <laughs> yeah, another. It's him bringing another up the Another Okay, so obviously this whoever owns this house is a fan of 007. Got it. All right. The theater tour was a little, a little raunchy. Apologies about that, but I cannot turn the lights on. I really don't know how to turn. He I think was a going circuit through. blue or something. So just all the lights out here is kind of messed up. But now I'm gonna take you guys outside to the pool area. It's literally like I don't know if you guys can see. Pool is like literally right here. Like the water is right here. All right, so this is the pool area, and it's actually pretty huge. <coughs> nice little hot tub, of course. Come now on, we actually tub. have not used the pool since we've been here, like at all. Plan to actually have like some kind of, you know, like a pool party tomorrow. Invite a few people and whatnot. Just, you know, just kind of utilizing what we paid for. Niggas just know people in Dubai. Hey. Must be nice. In a sense. But this is over here is actually like the deep end. Like I said, the guy had mentioned that oh, if sorry, you yeah. were to jump off here, he, he first he said not to do it, but then he said if you were, jump this way. I don't know how much of a risk I want to take, but I feel like if I seen somebody do it and they were okay, I'm probably gonna do it. Obviously, it has like another like a bar situation over here. This is like a uh, it's like a full bathroom I'm in sure here. Sure, he did it. Well, no, nah, it's really dark. There. Yeah, this over here, it's just, we don't know, it's like a waterfall or something over here. It's just like more sitting area, I guess, that would have chairs. This goes okay. up to the side of the house, back through the butler's kitchen. Yeah, that's pretty much it down here. Um, I was going to take you guys upstairs. Well, I'll take you guys upstairs because I think there's people up. I don't want to disturb with all of the talking, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you've been to Dubai, if you have, what did you think of it? Or if you want to go to Dubai, what's like the number one thing you want to do when you come here? 
for me, it's definitely the desert safari. All of that, I gotta go to the desert, have to see it, have to experience that. That's something I've never in my life experienced. And I have to go see that. I'm gonna climb a flight of stairs to get up here. I finally made it to the top. Of course, we got some more art, just kinda chilling. These two right here, probably my favorite here. Super dope. Another little living area. Um, a little living another area. kitchen, of course. This place actually has a gym, which is pretty dope. First, I gotta show you, it has like a, uh, another, what is this? I think it's a dryer. It has another dryer up here. Also has a situation where you can um, iron. iron your clothes. Oh, oh iron and bolt? What the hell is I don't know what that is. Like it's, okay, it's another bedroom there. It's like a linen closet. And then it has like this full blown gym. You know, actually, it's a pretty dope gym. It comes with this pretty much own bathroom in here. Freaking jacuzzi tub in the gym. And look at this, look at the details on this. This is crazy. Own shower, again, look at this. Look at the details on that. Nice little shower in this joint, you know. Can't even move it. If, I, if you were like 6'1", 6'2", you definitely wouldn't be able to stand on this. It's actually pretty, pretty short. Color, light blue blinds. Okay, this bathroom is actually pretty well put together. It's like one of the, pretty much the nicer bathrooms in here. This here, full blown steam room. You know, you come in here, sit for a minute. Do these things stay on? Somebody let me know in the comments. I have no idea if steam rooms stay on or not. It looks like it does though. It has What's barbells that? and whatnot, which are actually surprising. Most gyms don't, but with this being a house, I can understand why it does. It's got a rolling machine. Work so hard like for that one. Look at that. The details in this house are just insane. Um, yeah, if you want to come get your yoga on or anything like that, I feel like this would be the place. Also has has a pretty dope balcony out here. Like it's huge, massive. This is pretty much the front of the house again. I think that pretty much wraps up the tour. Nah, to be that honest. House is lit. Like I said, I don't want to show you guys the bedroom because people are even if they're not in them, they're just, their stuff is just in them. And I don't know what it looks like, so. Can't really be trying to show y'all. I can show y'all my mess, but if somebody else has a mess, I'm not gonna show you theirs, even if it's not. But look at this painting though. It's top notch. Top notch. This one here too. I need both of these in the crib. That pretty much wraps it up, guys. Um, again, I appreciate everybody who pulled up to watch this video. This is a Dubai house tour. I gotta get on the elevator to go back down to the room to kind of wrap this up. Let me see. Let's see. I haven't been on the elevator since I've been here. Okay, oh, oh, That's oh, it don't play, it come, it come right away. Okay, Damn. Right. We are going to... It's an elevator uh, in the house, y'all. Nope, this is one, okay, zero then. Okay, okay. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video, man. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a uh, thumbs up. You know what I mean? Subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm going to um, like this. going to have oh, another damn, Dubai video okay. coming very soon, so please stay tuned. I just got to curate all of the content that I have. It's going to be mixed in with a little bit of phone content, too, because with it being my first time here, like I said in the beginning, I don't really know what, what's acceptable and what's not, so I hate to just carry a camera around and, and, you know, somebody makes a big deal about it, but I'm not really too sure. Appreciate everybody who pulled up. I'll be leaving soon, hopefully, because you got to get a PCR test in order to go back. So hopefully that goes smoothly. If not, I don't know. But catch PCR you guys in the next video. Test. And that was a good. That was a good vlog. That's how the fuck you vlog from now on. Can you please vlog like that? Damn. Anyway, all right, y'all. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.